Hey, welcome, my name is Oli, and today we will check this, the G-Wolf's HTX 4K gaming mouse, a wireless small mouse. After the ATS Plus 4K, g wolves release now the next 4K wireless gaming mouse. For now, g wolves is the only brand with Razer to bring 4K polling weights wireless gaming mouse on the market. Let's check how this one performs. So, first let's check what is in the box. As we know from G-Volves they used to put a lot of gears in the box and it's still the same as the HTX. So you will find in the box of course a manual, different type of skates, out of the box the HTX has dot skates. Like for the ATS Plus you will also find a stick to turn the mouse on or off. But this time I don't need it, at least my finger reached the switch button. The cable and the dongle, it's still micro USB connection, but the mouse has USB-C connection to recharge the battery. A bit strange. Under the plastic you will find more stuff like a second cable, it's USB-C, to recharge the mouse, I guess. So you will have to use both cables, one for the receiver and one to charge the mouse. I think they could have chosen only one type of USB connection. Or at least include in the box an adapter like in the ATS Plus Ace where you receive not one, but two micro USB to USB-C adapter. First I didn't know what to do with it, but now I know. Also in the box an additional battery with a small testing station, grips, and the paintbrush. For what I need a paintbrush to clean the mouse. If you have any idea, leave it in the comment section below. For the rest, the mouse looks clean. I bought the mouse in the color red, but it looks like more a pink mouse. As I saw on the picture, so not big surprise for me. I kind like this color combination. It's a nice change compared to the standard black and white mouse I have. I also choose the version with honeycomb, but you can also choose the version with closed shell. So, let's check now the technical specification. We still have here the 3395 sensor with 4000 Hz polling rate. The sensor performs well in 4K, as you can see here, no big deviation. It says stable around the 4000 Hz. You can set in the software the polling rate and also motion sync. The mouse is also impressive light with 39 grams. The version with full shell has 43 grams. The mouse comes with the CP switches. Let's do a quick sound and quality check. The clicks feel solid, just a little bit of post trouble, almost no side play. The side button feels good, no rackling or crackling sound, the scroll wheel feels good. The mouse is very robust, no flex on the shell. I know that some of you have bad experiences with the QC and customer service, but for me, at least on my copy, I have nothing to complain. The dot PTFE skate is not what I prefer, I will replace them. But all in all, it's as light as a final mouse with better specs and solid sensor implementation. The texture is great, it's grippy but not sticky, but if you don't like it, you can still use the grips, included in the box. Let's check now the shape a bit more in details and how I perform in gaming. So the HTX is, compared to other similar mice, flatter at the back hump, which make it great for aggressive claw grip or fingertip grip. But for me, the scroll wheel is too small and too low. And I often accidentally click on the scroll wheel while firing. As you can see here, in Apex, I use the scroll wheel click to ping information to my teammates. But this is due to my type of playing and gripping the mouse. It doesn't mean it will also happen to you. I just wanted to point out the small size and the low position of the scroll wheel. It's very compact at the front. As comparison here, the Starlight 10 small has the scroll wheel higher and the Atlantis Mini too. But for some of you, this low scroll wheel position can be appreciated. So to sum up, with the HTX, g volts bring another great small mice with 4K polling weights on the market. The quality is overall very solid, no complaint. And with only 39 grams for the only conversion, also very light if you consider all the specs that this mouse brings with. The battery life is also solid. But all this has its price. And this is maybe a downside. 
$170 sounds first expensive considering that you can buy a Razer Viper or Death Header for the same price or sometimes even cheaper. But in the small mice market you can find only g volts that propose such premium specs. For me the shape and the low position of the scroll wheel was not my taste, but if the best technical specification is important for you and you are looking for a small size mouse, then this HTX is maybe the right one for you. But the competition is not sleeping. Lemzu already announced a 4K version of the Atlantis Mini. I can't wait to try this one. So that is for today. If you like it, don't forget to drop a like and to sub to the channel. If you want more infos, you can also follow me on Twitter where I post some news and what is coming next. I hope you enjoyed this review and as always, see you next time. Bye bye.